Alright guys, in the video today I'm going to show you how to make your player jump, and similar to the bouncing ball if you watched that tutorial, or the bouncing sphere, um, we'll make our player jump the same way except based on pressing a key. So we'll do it under the update function since it's only going to get called once anyway. Um, it's very simple, actually. We'll type if input dot get key down so it only runs one frame. Um, key code dot space. I think that's what most people would use. We're gonna say get component rigid body dot add force vector th th three dot up times one thousand because if you remember last time we did well we'll do two thousand actually because last time we did thousand he didn't go very high the, the bouncing sphere so I think two thousand would be fine and the reason we're going to use the rigid body add force instead of like transform direction or setting position to a vector 3 or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm not so sure about the transform direction, but like setting your position to something else manually, like if you set in a variable or something and add to it uh, using this method. It basically makes you teleport. So you're gonna clip inside of objects and everything. And uh, I'm not sure that's the case with transform direction again. But with rigid body dot add force, it's not teleporting you. It's adding a force. So technically, um, between point A and B, you actually travel that distance rather than just teleporting. That's all I'm saying. So we won't clip through objects when we jump. And also, if you think about it, what we have it set on, it's our player, and he has a rigid body, and he has gravity. So we're using a rigid body to pull us down, so why not uh, do the same thing to pull us up? And one other thing we're, uh, we're kind of protecting ourselves on by doing it this way, um, if you were to press the key lots of times, which actually reminds me we should put a cooldown. If you press the key many, many times, you would fall faster and faster and faster. But if you add force in the upward direction, you fall um, slower. So we'll say uh, usually I would I would make a raid cast, but I. I can't remember how to do that off the top of my head. I've only done it a couple times. So, um, we know this wouldn't exactly work if uh, the ground you're playing on isn't flat, or if you're on top of another object, or really if you're off uh, the ground at all, where it's set to zero. Um, as you can see, our Y position is one, so we'll just set just for this example, we'll say if transform position dot uh, y is less than or equal to let's say 1.05 f simply because he's not necessarily going to sit right at one. In fact, that might not even be a high enough number. Um, then you can't jump. So if you're off the ground, basically you can't jump again, or else you could just keep jumping until you're uh, pretty far up in the sky. So if we play this now, okay, why well, is set to one? Wow, a lot more force than I thought it would be. Anyway, I'm pressing space, not going anywhere. On the ground, press space, works just fine. Let's land in the trigger, make the bouncing sphere. Look at that. Alright, this is kind of insane. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe that has to do with my mass. Because I set the other mass and the other thing to like 10. So maybe if I set this to 150 or so, maybe that would work. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's a mass. 
I think I set the mass of the sphere to like, like I said, like 10. Oh, here's another problem. We can fix this right now as well. Uh, when you add a rigid body and you start dealing with force, we landed on something with a collider and it pushed us in the opposite direction. To fix that, uh, we don't want our, uh, we don't want it to add force in any of the position directions other than Y. We want it on Y. So rigid body can only affect Y. And for rotation, we don't want it affecting any. So your script can affect it, but uh, the way to do it with a rigid body uh, rotation would be to add at torque. So as you, you can see, we can still move around, we can press Y and jump, except when we walk in here and we hit the ball, we do not get moved, but the ball does, or the sphere, whatever. We're still in the same spot, the sphere is going away from us. So that's how to fix that too, just so you guys know. And that's all I've got for you in this video, so see you in the next one.